Why do they call it gambling? They should call it stealing. It's a license to print money with my information, with my private information, with my knowledge, with some really hard fucking work. This is not rocket science, especially yesterday. If anyone looks at the fucking schedule, you have to realize if Philadelphia is playing Cleveland in week one. And also, if Philadelphia is playing Cleveland week three of the preseason, what that means to anybody that's been gambling for 30 fucking years, especially people in my business that should know what they're fucking doing, is that, wait, a light bulb happens. Fucking Einstein. That means that Philly and Cleveland will show each other cock, dick, nada, nothing in week three of the preseason to save all the trick play, plays and surprises for week one. So what does that mean? Are they going to play their starters in week four? Because traditionally week three is the week that you play all your starters. Not week four because God forbid injuries. Well, they'll play them in week two. Okay. And as you saw, Cleveland humiliated Green Bay Game open five, went to four and a half, went to four, went to three, close two and a half. We gave out Cleveland. They pissed all over Green Bay. So now, so now, when we knew, because if you get the right information from the right people, if you really go down in the trenches, if you have thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions to fucking spend, you know what's going on. So when Belichick, not on Monday, on Sunday morning, says we are going to rest 27 fucking starters. Pretty much. That game is a human lock. And when I gave the game out Sunday as my one and only preseason game of the year, and I told everybody to bet their children's eyes on this game. To bet 10 times your top play. That means if you bet a dime, you bet 10,000. You bet 10,000, you bet 100,000. You're a 100,000 dollar better, you bet a million. Yesterday, I had over 70 people betting at William Hill in London, England, and we kicked their fucking ass. Not only that, we laid three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. We laid seven. We beat them for 45. $5 million! And one of the owners of William Hill called me and said, Stu, why'd you kick me in your balls? I treat your customers like gold. You needed to take me down in a preseason fucking game? And I said, Will, pay my fucking customers, you scumbag! Because you know bookmakers, all they want to do is win. They don't like paying out anybody. But when you deal with me, when you take my customers' actions, you're going to fucking pay a lot. And then also, let's evaluate the game yesterday. Because the game went horribly. Okay, second series, Michael Vick gets knocked out of the game. And then we proceed to have a very, a very undisciplined defense and offense as we accumulate 16 penalties for 140 yards. And we go down 11-0. 11-0, and all of a sudden my phone blows up. 70, 80 customers are going, Stu, what's going on? Stu, what's going on? Stu, what's going on? I'm like, relax, smoke a joint, smoke some of that Long Island sour diesel the best in the world. When I go to Amsterdam, the best pot in the world, when you go to Amsterdam in the pot pubs, is Long Island Sour Diesel. I said, relax, take it easy. In the 80s, pop three quaaludes. Relax, the game is in the bag. It's in my pocket, I have it, it's over. It's done. The groceries have been paid for. And with everything going wrong possible, we still blow New England out of the building simplistically because men against boys, starters against scrubs. The people playing for New England yesterday, right now, are working at Wendy's, Chili's, and McDonald's. That's where they're working right now. That's where they're working. Not a big deal, not rocket science. If you get the right information from the right people, you score out. Over 2,000 people scored out with me yesterday. Over $100 million was won because of me. I wrote over 3.7 million in gross business yesterday off the game. 
I have to say to you, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Oh, by the way, my personal play in Major League Baseball won two as the Nationals outlasted the Braves. So again, let's get rolling. Today, what we do is take a deep breath, count our cash. Why I'm doing the video so late is I had to count my cash. I had to count the cash. Take a deep breath and count your fucking cash. Because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying counting my motherfucking cash. Right now on the free pick phone, I'm going to give you a free baseball winner out of the goodness of my heart on a recorded message. 800-982-2211. 800-982-2211. How we're going to make money on Tuesday is this. Personal play, and it's a total. Personal play, and it's a side. High roller, 200 dime winners. Biggest bettors in the world, score out with me. If you want to call me to get on a package for the regular season and for week three of the preseason, now besides the Philly-Cleveland game that we flush and throw out in the toilet, because fuck that game, every other team's playing for real. This is a simulated real game coming up. So I will go 5-0, and and you can bet everything you want on my five best bets. I'm fucking sweeping the board. I already know the games. I knew the games last week. I know the final score of three out of the five. Exactly! I know the final fucking score! So listen, pay me today I make you money. Pay me today I save you money. On the video blog, I discuss why Melky Cabrera is not Einstein. Let's rock and roll. Let's score out. The video blog is a must-see. Watch it. Love you. Bye.